I don't know about you, but I can never have enough good news. I know that's right. And it's a good thing we've got a brand new edition of Good News in Schools. Don't you agree? I do. Hey, everybody, I'm Matt. And I'm Vicki. We're going to dive right in and show you some great things going on in our schools. What's our first story, Matt? Well, Vicki, we're starting with a unique event at Alden Road Exceptional Student Center. Let's just say it combines music, great guest speakers, yeah. business enterprises, and so much more. This is the school's second annual career day, and students not only learned about opportunities in their community, they also showcased their own handiwork. Check it out. Students participating in school-based enterprises make their own products like jewelry, soap, calendars, and cards, and then they put them up for sale. The money goes right back into their business. Pretty cool, huh? We could tell everyone was having a blast, but teachers say what's even more important is that students are gaining confidence. It's a wonderful thing because it makes them part of their community. I mean, you're getting to see how our little businesses run. And like I said, a lot of our kids don't get out into the community very much. And this gives them the opportunity to, you know, have pride in something that they've made and they've created and to see it to fruition. Sounds like a wonderful event. Good work, guys. Absolutely. Now, speaking of good work, we know there's a lot of it taking place inside of our schools. So why not invite people inside so they can see it for themselves? That's the idea behind Discover Duval Schools, which is held in partnership with the Jacksonville Public Education Fund. We were there as City Councilman Don Redman and Representative Reggie Fullwood boarded a bus to tour Frank H. Peterson Academies of Technology. District 5 board member Constance Hall was also there to welcome everybody, and this group really saw it all. From the school's Automotive Academy, to the Cosmetology Academy, and also the Culinary Academy. Mmm, that would have totally made me hungry. But in all seriousness, those who took this tour say they're really impressed. A lot of these folks are walking out with certifications that, and they can go walk into an auto dealership or walk into um, a, a, a hair salon and, and be accredited and start working immediately. There's some good instructions going on at this school, I can tell, and uh, um, evidently some good students. They're teaching them uh, other qualities of life other than just the trade that they're learning, it, apparently, so that's, that's good. There are lots of Discover Duval Schools tours taking place all year round, so be sure to visit our website, discoverduvalschools.org, for more information. Will do, Vicki. Now let's head over to an elementary school where students know a thing or two about getting into character. Aren't they adorable? This is the annual character parade at Ocean Way Elementary School. The entire school participated by having students dress up as someone from their favorite book. Looks like these costumes are pretty spot on. Principal Snedden says it's a perfect way to help students discover a love for reading. Even by the simple act of parading around in different costumes, all of the children are exposed to different characters and they might see someone that kind of sparks their interest and then they go on and try to find out what book that was from and then read. And it didn't hurt that the students got a special visit from Patches, the mascot from the Gator Bowl. He gave out lots of hugs and high fives. That's pretty cool. Well, here's another group of super creative students over at Atlantic Coast High School. These students are in Miss Delaney's art class and they've created beautiful pieces for a great cause. They were for the annual Empty Bowls Luncheon, which benefits the second harvest of North Florida and aims to fight hunger in our community. This isn't the first time these students have chipped in to help support the event. This is the fourth year Atlantic Coast High School has participated and the 14th overall for Miss Delaney. Pretty neat. They really enjoy doing the projects and they feel good about it um, and they love to be able to give back to their community. I think it's wonderful that they have an opportunity to showcase their work outside the classroom. By the way, did you notice these bowls made out of old records? I need to learn how to do that. Me too, Vicki. Now we can't think of a better way to wrap up this segment than a salute to the heroes who serve our community day in and day out. As part of the city's Week of Valor, military service men and women visited schools all over our district. We were there as Chief Warrant Officer Chris Cartwright of the U.S. Coast Guard met a group of 6th and 8th grade students at Landon Middle School. Students not only learned more about the Coast Guard, but they also had a chance to ask plenty of questions. We've had so much service and so much sacrifice for the veterans in this country that it's absolutely imperative that we remember what they've done. What a wonderful opportunity to learn from and honor the brave men and women who dedicate their lives to such honorable work. I agree, Matt, and we want to thank all servicemen and women past and present. 
Well, before we go, we just want to remind you that there are many ways to stay plugged into the district. This year, we introduced Real, Real Talk, Talk Podcasts. Podcasts. It's an exclusive radio show featuring in-depth discussion on the topics you care about. You can find the latest episodes just by heading to DuvalSchools.org. And, of course, we can't forget our monthly show, Real School. A new episode premieres Sunday, December 1st at 10 a.m. on WJCT or PBS. Well, we want to thank you for watching this latest episode of Good News in School. From all of us, thanks for watching and have, have a, a great, great day. day.